Today's story. General Cemetery Guatemala City, Guatemala. Once upon a time in Guatemala City, there stood a place steeped in history and adorned with tales of the past the General Cemetery. This sacred site was not only a final resting place for the departed but also a testament to the nation's rich heritage. Its tombstones and mausoleums told stories of triumph and tragedy making it a destination that intrigued both locals and tourists alike. The General Cemetery was established in the mid-19th century, and it was designed to be a serene sanctuary where families could come to pay their respects to their loved ones and honor their memory as the years passed. The cemetery grew in size and became a fascinating amalgamation of architectural styles, reflecting the diverse influences on Guatemalan culture. One day a group of tourists arrived at the General Cemetery led by a knowledgeable guide named Isabella. She was passionate about the cemetery's history and eager to share its captivating stories with the visitors. Among the tourists were Emma and Jack a young couple keen on discovering the hidden gems of Guatemala City. Isabella led the group through the maze of tombstones explaining the significance of each mausoleum they encountered. They discovered the Gothic-style crypts with ornate ironwork and stained glass windows, the Egyptian-inspired pyramids adorned with mystical symbols and the neoclassical tombs that exuded a sense of grandeur. One particular tomb caught Emma's attention, the tomb of a renowned artist who had contributed greatly to the country's cultural heritage. The tomb was adorned with elaborate sculptures reflecting the artist's devotion to his craft even in death. Emma marveled at the artist's legacy and it inspired her to pursue her own passion for painting. As the group continued their exploration, they stumbled upon a serene garden filled with vibrant flowers and majestic trees. Isabella shared that this area was dedicated to the memory of the victims of Guatemala's turbulent past. The garden served as a reminder of the nation's resilience and its commitment to peace and reconciliation. In the heart of the cemetery stood a magnificent mausoleum that was rumored to be haunted. Its eerie appearance sent shivers down the spines of the tourists but Isabella assured them that it was just a story passed down through generations she shared tales of the legendary figure whose remains rested within a general who had fought valiantly for Guatemala's independence. As the sun began to set, Isabella led the group to a quieter section of the cemetery where they could witness the mesmerizing play of light and shadows among the tombstones. This area, known as the Avenue of the Angels, was renowned for its angelic sculptures and ethereal atmosphere. Emma and Jack were captivated by the beauty of the General Cemetery and the history it held. They left with a profound appreciation for the culture and the people of Guatemala. Emma's encounter with the artist's tomb left a lasting impression and upon returning home she channeled her newfound inspiration into her artwork. Years passed and Emma became a renowned painter whose works captured the essence of Guatemala's cultural heritage. She often included images of the General Cemetery in her paintings immortalizing its splendor and sharing the stories she had learned with the world. Here are the key tourist attractions in Guatemala City, Guatemala. General Cemetery. As depicted in the story, the General Cemetery itself is a significant tourist attraction due to its historical and architectural value. Visitors come to admire the diverse tomb styles and learn about Guatemala's cultural heritage. Avenue of the Angels This section within the General Cemetery is particularly popular for its angelic sculptures and tranquil ambiance, providing a serene space for contemplation and reflection. Historical Center Guatemala City's historical center boasts beautiful colonial architecture, including landmarks such as the Metropolitan Cathedral National Palace and Central Market, it offers a glimpse into the city's colonial past. La Aurora Zoo. Located near the city center, this well-maintained zoo is home to a variety of animals both native and exotic, it's a popular destination for families and animal enthusiasts. Popol Vuh Museum. This museum showcases a vast collection of Mayan artifacts and pre-Columbian art, providing insights into Guatemala's ancient civilizations. National Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology Another essential museum in the city, it features archaeological exhibits, including pottery sculptures and textiles allowing visitors to explore Guatemala's ancient history. Relief Map of Guatemala A fascinating outdoor attraction located in Zone 2, this large-scale model of Guatemala provides an interactive and informative way to learn about the country's topography and geography. Plaza Mayor. Also known as Constitution Plaza, it is a central gathering spot surrounded by historical buildings and serves as a hub for cultural events and festivals. Central American Relief Map Park. In Zone 2, 
This park offers visitors the chance to walk across a scaled model of Central America learning about the region's geography and landmarks. Camin El Juyu Archaeological Site Just outside the city center this ancient Mayan ruin site offers archaeological remains and a glimpse into Guatemala's ancient history. Paseo Keala, a modern shopping and entertainment district with a European-style layout offering a variety of restaurants, shops and entertainment venues. Mercado 24 de Julio, an authentic local market where visitors can immerse themselves in Guatemalan culture, shop for souvenirs and try local food and beverages. These attractions provide a diverse and rich experience for tourists visiting Guatemala City offering a blend of historical cultural and natural wonders to explore and enjoy. Thanks for watching.